wanted to start with some general thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, certainly not the result we were looking for, but I thought uh, I thought Northeastern I thought Northeastern played well and deserved to win tonight. Um, made a little push in the third, but it certainly wasn't enough, and uh, we need to play better um, going forward. Hockey is a tough conference, and uh, they proved it tonight here. No, obviously Northeastern is a very, very good goalie. Uh, I would imagine 17 shots isn't the way to beat that guy. I'm sure you, is that one of the most disappointing things, just the lack of, uh, lack of chances? Yeah, I, I would agree. We need to generate more offense uh, from generating chances. You know, I mean, you can talk about offense all you want, but I thought he saw the puck way too much tonight. You know, when nobody's in front and, and uh, we made it too easy. And taking nothing away from our opponent, they're a good opponent, but uh, we need to be tougher to play against. The, 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 uh, not a lot of uh, things going. Sodergren scores 2-1. to one. Uh, what led to the defensive break that allowed him to have a breakaway to make it three to one? I think it was 26 seconds later. Um, I have to look at that on the film. How disappointing was it? Well, it's always disappointing when you give up a, a goal after you score because we created no momentum, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, you give one up right after you, you create a little momentum. So, yeah, th those are things that, um, especially as a young guy who hasn't played very much here. Uh, those are hard lessons, yeah. but you remember them. Yeah. yeah. The, the uh, Northeastern, you got to give them a lot. They didn't seem like they, they gave you guys a lot of time and space. No, they got a good decor, and I thought their gaps were excellent. And, uh, you know, next time we play them, we'll, we'll have to find a way to uh, to play from underneath a little bit more because I thought the, uh, the neutral zone was a little jammed tonight, and that was a credit to them. Yeah, how, how much did you guys miss Ryan Lowen? Uh, Ryan's a good hockey player. You, you're always going to miss a captain who's who was your top scorer the previous year. But you know, it's there's lots of other guys in that locker room who need to uh, pick up the slack. So um, there's certainly no excuse there. Um, not a lot went right offensively and defensively, but I believe that Tyler Wall did a great job. Um, what can you speak to his pretty impressive performance tonight in front of a very very good Northeastern defense? Um, yeah, no, I think uh, both goaltenders played uh, very well. I thought our penalty kill was 100%. From that standpoint, that's a positive. I thought Tyler was a positive in the way he played and stood in there. Um, you know, I, I think Tyler continues to uh, uh, have a rebound year, and that's good. What did you think was sort of the most worrying aspect of tonight's game? I know that individual results don't really mean a lot, especially in the... Um, Made of a whole, um, a whole, a whole season. But did you find anything that really you kind of want to iron out in the future? Oh, there's several things, guys. We're we're gonna watch film, regardless of the the final result, the final score. It's one game, so you move forward. It's the first game of hockey East. So we're gonna improve on some things. We're gonna look at some film, and thankfully we have a game tomorrow. What are you hoping for tomorrow night, not specifically? Um, generating more scoring chances. Number one. Number two. Uh, being harder to play against, and those are two things that pop to mind right away. But after watching the film, there might be a few more. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks.